What's up everyone? It's your boy Norn Rad89 here bringing you another video today. And for today's video, we're going to be talking about a horror film that I just recently caught. It's like a horror mystery film, old school from 1982. I actually got this suggested to me by another fellow YouTuber, Piz Owl. Go check out his channel. He does a lot of cool horror content and like stuff about making Jason hockey masks that he has and stuff. It's really cool. So he suggested I watch this film called Pieces. It's from 1982. It's on Tubi for free if you want to check it out. So let's get into this. And we're going to be talking some spoilers because this film's from 1982. So <laughs> if you haven't seen it, go run out and watch it because it's free on Tubi. What are you doing sitting here? Go run out and watch it and then come back so we can talk about it. So as I said, Pieces is a 1982 horror mystery film about a Boston detective who's trying to find a maniac killer who's dismembering co-eds and stuff like that. And it's just, ah, uh, like the way it sounds, it is like that graphic. It's pretty crazy. There's a lot of dismemberments in this film. Chainsaw action, a pretty crazy like little mystery involved. Like you have to kind of guess who the killer is. A little bit of scream vibes, you know what I mean, kind of thing. But uh, it's just, it's pretty cool. Maybe even more uh, Friday the 13th vibes, I would say, because the graphics and the gore and stuff like that and the very, like, kind of mediocre level acting, I would say that it's definitely more of a Friday the 13th kind of vibe. But I did dig it. It is definitely a sleazy film, though, too. So be prepared for 70% of the chicks that get killed in this movie to be naked. <laughs> We also have some good actors, too, in this film, like Linda Day George and Christopher George. But, like, the acting, I wouldn't say, is top-notch level. I think Jack Taylor is another actor in this film, too. But it's definitely played out to be kind of campy and silly. And that's what I liked about it. It's, it's just one of those films, like, you can really have, like, you know, invite a bunch of friends over, have a bunch of beers, and just laugh your ass off. Because there's so much crazy stuff in this film that's kind of ridiculous. But it's just, it works, you know what I mean? It's one of those films that, like, yeah, there could have been a more serious, better version. But I think for the way it is, and specifically because of the time that it came out, it just screams that vibe, you know what I mean? For the 80s, you could kind of enjoy campy movies that are, like, you know, not story-driven, not character-driven, but it's more about the kills. It's more about, you know, the graphics. It's more about kind of the shock value, almost. But I appreciate horror films like that. So this film, like I said, was kind of right up my alley. I enjoyed it. In terms of like a critical view, if I was like hardcore critic, I would probably put this movie at like a four or five. But being entertainment value and how I loved it and like I'm a horror fan, I would probably put it at like a 6.5 or a 7 out of 10. Because like I said, it's just a blast trying to figure out who the killer is. Like I said, it's, you know, and like who's going to complain about like sexy nude girls? You know, like I said, the acting is not that great. <laughs> but the kills are top notch too. And I like realistic effects. You know, it just, especially when you take the time to make it, it definitely looks like that's where they kind of spent most of their money was kind of like the realistic effects and then probably casting some of the actors but everything else looks like it was very cheap and stuff but oh man I had a blast with this movie so I was so glad that I got a chance to check this out and I definitely like I said recommend checking it out but you have to be in to that sleazy type you know b-level horror you know I wouldn't recommend this if you're just if you're not into gore don't check this movie out but it's got a really cool beginning like I like our intro sequence when we see the kid and he's playing with the puzzle like putting the puzzle together and like his mom busts him and then like just even the campy kills like with the axe like when he's hitting her with the axe you could kind of tell it's like that rubbery like axe and it's just bouncing off her head She's like, ah, ah, like screaming like it's just hilarious but it works like I said because it just fits the vibe of the film and it's they, they commit to it all the way throughout the film so that's why I thought it was really cool you know what I mean that's that's the kind of vibes I like when you're if you're going to go campy or you're going to go silly in your horror film or go over the top you have to commit and know what what realm you're in and go all the way with it if you kind of like half-ass it or you're like no and then you try to take yourself too serious it's not going to work i also failed at guessing the killer in this film i did have one guess i took one guess i was like about 35 minutes into this movie and i guessed one character i was like i think that's the killer that's our boy right there but then you end up uh, finding out at the end that it is somebody else like it's a different person i was like oh man like just i think the reveal is pretty good it's pretty cool because it caught me off guard. It wasn't like a serious twist, but it's it's a little twist, you know what I mean? And it's good because this character isn't portrayed as someone crazy, you know? Like I said, you have to kind of just guess. Through. So as I said, I definitely recommend this film. I really appreciate it that Piz Owl recommended this to me. I'm a huge horror fan. Never caught this film and being 
a slasher fan and that it has like this cool little mystery involved this cool campy nature to it i definitely enjoyed it but for being a film it's one of those movies that i kind of feel like it makes me want to do like two different kind of scores for ratings because if i was like really critical on this film i would say it's like a four or five out of ten area in film but in my book for entertainment value and I'm a huge horror fan, it was probably, it's like a 6.5 or a 7 out of 10. That's how much I had fun with it. So I definitely got, recommend checking it out. Like I said, maybe this might be a film. Check it out late at night, you know, with your girlfriend or a bunch of buddies, you know, crack open a couple beers and enjoy it. Thanks for sticking around with me. I hope you enjoyed this review for Pieces, the 1982 horror mystery film. Definitely don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing on the channel. I'm going to be posting a lot of other videos. I'm actually going to be going through all my media stuff, my physical media, and I want to show off my collection. But I shot a video for that. It was about 35 minutes long, and the last six minutes of it didn't record for some reason. So I got to go through that footage or try to reshoot it. Hey, little man. Hey, little man. That's my son right there. So, yeah, I got to try to reshoot that, and I'll probably put that video up soon. So have a safe and happy day, you all. Peace out.